Vada from Texas Family Wellness Clinic. Now, as important as it is for you to find a doctor who's going to look out for you, who's going to give you the best care possible, it's actually really important to our, for our doctors to have a good patient who comes in prepared and just ready to make this a really lucrative um, relationship, right? So talk to me about what it takes, Dr. G, to be a good patient. What should we come in prepared with? Right. So I, I think being prepared for your visit with me or with your doctor mm -hmm. is going to be really important. Um, you know, for us, it's about efficiency. So yes. we don't want to waste time, you know, trying to get information when you could provide that very easily mm -hmm. by knowing things like your medical history, what medical problems you've been diagnosed with in the past, what surgeries you've had, when they were, who did them, what your specialist names are, mm -hmm. why you see them. All of that is very important. Allergies to medications that you may have, hospitalizations and when and why they happened. So all of that information is very important to us. So being prepared, maybe having questions ready, yes. you know, knowing why you're coming in. Um, you know, this happened to me on this date. These are the symptoms that I had that were mm -hmm. associated with it. Um, those are the things that we're going to ask you about. So knowing that is going to be very helpful. I took my mom to her physician's appointment a while back and we were practicing on the way, you know, okay, mom, you told me that, <laughs> you know, you're going to have, or that you've been having these symptoms. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when the doctor walks in, you know, he's going to ask you, you know, how are you feeling today? What are you going to tell him? And she told me, well, I'm going to tell him I feel fine. And I said, no, 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 that's, <laughs> no, that's no, not that's what that's you want. You know, you want to tell him what's wrong with you. Exactly. So being prepared is really important. So um, that would be number one. Okay. And I think that's, I love that story about your mom because it's so true. You know, you can take note, oh, my aches and here and I'm not sleeping and my diet and for some reason salt is doing this to me. And it's all at the top of your mind, but you get to the doctor's appointment and you're like, uh, drawing a blank. Don't forget that if you're old fashioned, you want to write it down in a notepad. Dr. G's got his little notepad right here. Sure. It's important to take notes or even utilizing your, your cell phone. You have notes in your phone, right. create a folder that says, you know, symptoms, medical information, whatever it may be, and take those notes because uh, it's important to come in with sort of like a list or whatever we can, right? And some of the supplements and medications that we're taking as well. So on medications and supplements, what I want is for you to bring those medications and supplements okay. with you. So right. if at all possible, bring the bottles with you. The reason that's so important is because so many times you'll write a list and maybe it doesn't get updated. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get a new medication from a specialist or from the emergency room visit. And it's important for us to know what you're taking because of things like interactions or side effects. So bringing your medications and supplements is very important to me. Okay. I very, want to know that. Very important information. And lastly, do I need to come see the doctor for every little thing if I need a referral or if I just, you know, have a weird ache? So again, I want to see you as a patient for that referral for many reasons. Number one, uh, sometimes insurance requires it. So if we don't have that documentation to show the insurance why it's important for you to be referred to a specialist, uh, they may not allow that or pay for the visit. Um, and a lot of specialists also want us to do our due diligence and do the appropriate workup, whatever we can do prior to making a referral to a specialist. So yes, it is important to come in to see me. It's our duty to get an appropriate history from you, mm -hmm. do an appropriate physical examination of you, and make sure that the complaint that you have isn't something that's more serious. Okay, all of this is very, very helpful. I hope you feel more empowered as a patient and understand that it is a responsibility on your behalf to make sure that you're taking care of your health and wellness. We can't just rely on doctors and computers to do it all for us. So keep track of your symptoms. Make sure you come in prepared as a patient and pay your due diligence. Our friends at Texas Family Wellness Clinic are ready to take you on as a new patient. Head to the website and fill out the application form. Very short and simple. And you could be their next patient. Thank you so much. Thank you. Health and Wellness with Dr. Guevara is paid for by Texas Family Wellness Clinic.